Yes then guys, how are you doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. So we are in Season 2 in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team and we have got our first little selection of level 15 player picks. I may be a little bit late to the party on this one. I've kind of not been grinding too many objectives this season. I've been taking a backseat, playing a bit of Call of Duty, a bit of Halo and having a damn good time doing it. If you do want to see content on those games, by the way guys, let me know down below. I'm starting to stream. I'm looking to set up a second channel with other games as well. So let me know down below in the comment section. But the three players we can choose from here, we have got the German man. I believe this is in the Eredivisie. I'm not 100% sure on this one. It is. The Go Ahead Eagles, fantastic club name. I've never heard of them until this. But we've got Ogashika Heel. Probably butchered it, but I gave it a damn good go. Interesting looking card, medium high, five foot six. I mean, he's got decent pace, agility, balance, really good finishing, but some really lackluster stats to go alongside that. And for me personally, he's not gonna be the man I'm gonna pick. The next man is a guy I'm gonna completely ignore because there's no way in a million years that this man is gonna be playing in my team anytime soon. It is João Pedro, Pedro Tixera. Playing in the Portuguese league, a goalkeeper. If you've got a league on side of this man, it's probably the man for you. However, me personally, it's a big no. So that leaves one man and one man only. This chap here, Josh Pask, six foot two, playing for Coventry. Okay, a bit of a difficult lead to potentially link into. However, it fits quite nicely for me personally, as you will see my team shortly. But the man's card looks pretty decent. Very nice dribbling stats for a centre back. Defending physicals that great, great strength. Pace is there, definitely a shadow to super juice the pace and the defending. No player trace to shout about, but what I'm gonna do is test him alongside one of the world's greats. So this is the makeshift team I'm gonna be using around our man here, Pass. It's kind of difficult to get him in on full chem unless you've got icons like Ferdinand, other English icons, or if you're just rocking like English special cards. There's a few decent ones. Smith Rowe, for example, Foden's got probably about 25 special cards, guys. So they, the links are possible. But this man is definitely for you boys who are against the super meta curve. You don't want the super sweaty cards. You want some unique, cool hybrid squad, somewhat similar to this. I mean, I'm using Luke Shaw and Ramsdale in goal, so it's definitely is against the meta. We do get him in on full chemistry for this video. So for the team itself, Ramsdale is our goalkeeper, Ferdinand and Pask. I was comparing these two earlier, guys, and they are very, very similar, pretty much across the board. If anything, Pask is more physical. Rio has a little bit more on the defending side of things, but the dribbling is still somewhat similar. Same with the passing stats. So it's pretty much, potentially, a free Rio Ferdinand if you're just looking at the attributes. But that is where the main test is going to come in. We're going to see how well he performs alongside the big man himself. But the rest of the team, we got Luke Shaw, Johnny Boy Klaus, and Bele. Savani, I'm trying him out. I've had his red player pick for a while, yet to use him as a yet. Fakia and Kunku, big ESR, and then Choo Choo in that midfield. So for Kem style, as I said, shadow is what we're going to apply. And that should give us a nice little boost to the pace. We go to 91 acceleration, 95 sprint speed, and the defending stats get that big increase that we need. He looks fantastic. I've got super high hopes for him. Let's just see how good he is. Quickly going through how we are lining up. It is a 4 1 2 1 2 brackets 2. ESR in the pocket, then Bele Fakia up front, and Kunku Savani and Choo Choo in the midfield and the bat four stays the same. So as I said earlier, I've not really been grinding since the new season came out. I've kind of been taking a backseat on FIFA content. I've been doing the silver stars, etc., and some cool little squad builders, but I'm not really having too much fun on foot champions and in the rivals. I'm trying to find my feet again. You know, the gameplay got a bit stale in the elite division. I'm now in division two on my way up to division one. So hopefully it's a little bit more fun. There's some more unique teams that I'm coming up against. I could, I, mean, I could dream. We're about to find out what we're against first time round. 100% is going to be Kempembe, Marquinhos, the Meta boys. I mean, it's not like insanely Meta, but it's pretty mad. And Bappe and Ronaldo are at the first test for our boy Pask. Let's see if he has what it takes to handle the two of them. Oh, I'm Messi. How could I forget Messi? Oh, dear. We're in trouble here, boys. We are in trouble. Pask up against them. Bappe and Ronaldo. And he's only gone and intercepted it. What are we saying? That's another big tackle from our man. Positive start. Seven minutes in, he's going to have a lot to do in this game because the team that he's up against is pretty damn insane. But decent little stint for the man so far. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. Why am I saying oh, dear? Pask is here. He's on the cleanup crew. Lovely stuff. And Kunku, that's what I'm talking about, lad. Leave a little in early doors. Let him know you're here. Come on now, boys. Let's get that goal. Let's get that lead. Get a little streak going in Division 2, you know? It's always that last interception, boys. Every damn time for Kia. Swivel. Beautiful. 
Go again. Dembele. There it is. Roof of the net finish from Ousmane. The most inconsistent finisher you're ever going to use on FIFA. But sometimes he turns into Dembele. Do choose a brick wall? I honestly don't want this man to leave my team. It's getting to the stage where he may have to eventually. But I just want that second in form or something. Definitely a team of the season. And we'll be having a laugh. Mbappe's got a bit of pace about him, boys. He's got a bit of pace about him. And he is sent past to Tesco and back. And he's bagged it. I still really want to try out Mbappe, to be fair, boys. He looks ridiculous. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there's been some new leak as well. Um, I don't necessarily know what the cards are. I think they're like next-gen cards. Uh, similar to when Beckham came out last FIFA. Uh, that 86 overall card that everybody got. If you play the game before a certain time, I believe we get like an exclusive bit of content. As I've explained this, Ramsdale's pulled off a mad save. But Mbappe, an 86 overall Mbappe, is one of those cards. So there's potential for you boys to get a free version. Probably not as good, but a free version of Mbappe very soon. What is Ramsdale? Who is this man? He's unreal. Oh, it's got to be. Yes, the boys. ESR pulls it. I guess I'll lead back. Back up to 2-1. Decent bit of play from Fakir and Dembele linking up. And Big Smith Rowe bags the goal. And we are looking good. So we sit 2-1 up at halftime. Feeling good. Feeling like I've been the better player 100%. Pask has been solid. He did get set to Tesco and back for a cheeky meal deal by Mbappe at one point. We're going to put that to the side. Overall solid performance from the man so far. Here's the hope and it continues. Oh, dear. Ronnie's in, and Ronnie finds the back of the net. That's the issue when you're playing against Messi, Ronaldo, and Mbappe. It takes a second of magic, and they find the back of the net. It is what it is, boys. This game's not over yet. Oh, that's a fantastic tackle. And that's Pasca as well. He's had enough of it. He's taking it into his own hands. He's putting Mbappe in his back pocket. And that bit, mate. We need words, honestly, mate. You're driving me insane. Oh, this is too much space. Messi gets the goal. We're literally throwing it away, boys. We were 2 1 up a minute ago, and now we're 4 2 down. So a 4 2 loss in game number one. Very close game. Opponent was decent. I feel a little bit hard done by. We had the woodwork. You know, probably should have scored another couple of chances, but it is what it is. Decent performance of Pask, though. Up against Mbappe, Ronaldo, and uh, what's his name? Messi. I think that's his name. Uh, decent stint for them. So game number two, can we redeem ourselves? I want a W. Is that too much to ask for? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Against the meta. Haaland and closer up front. That's definitely against the meta. Hopefully, Pask can uh, handle those two big geezers, and we can uh, find our way up front and get a couple of goals and uh, take home the dub. Not gonna lie, the ref has definitely chose the uh, the wrong shade of green here. I keep thinking he's my opponent's player, like marking my centre mid. It's driving me crazy. Like, where's the ref, guys? Can you see him right now? Because he's wearing exactly the same bloody kit as my opponent. So I'll give him goes for Kia's in space. He's gonna make that. For Kia, hit it! Oh, that's lovely. Emil. We've done the keeper. The keeper's all over the place. And we pick out Smith Bro, who fires the back of the net. 1 0 lead. Let's get it. How has that gone in? I am speechless on how Ramsdale has let that in. Lads, we need a serious chat at half time. We do. Big bit defending. Luke Shaw, I don't know what you're doing though. You're trying to sabotage us, lad. 2 1 down. Pass with all the hard work, gets the interception, and Luke Shaw decides to play a through ball to Sane. And just like that, we find ourselves uh, behind in this one. Oh, that's beautiful. Fakir across the goalkeeper. Of course, he has saved it. Oh, and real effort again. Neuer with the save again. It's like it's going to be one of those games, boys. Big leap. <laughs> oh, I can't be asked. I actually can't be asked. <laughs> oh, 
What have I just seen? What have I just seen? So we end up losing game number 252, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't help but feel a little hard done by in this game, guys. I don't know if I'm going crazy or what, but let's just have a little look, little look back at some of the goals here. I mean, VAR probably would be giving that offside, to be fair. I mean, VAR, that's offside. But it doesn't matter. Mira Stav's in on goal. My man's having a shot from here. All right. Never in a million years should this go in the back of the net. All right, come on, the boys. Harlan's in. Big touch. Pass made that. Brilliant interception. Luke? Luke, what have you just done? Luke? He's put it on a plate for Sade, who, of course, taps it across the closer. 2-1 right. down at this point. 3-1 down. We've just hit the post. We're gunning for it. Coleman's on the attack. I didn't even notice this originally, but okay. Little fake shot. That is world class for Jonathan Klaus. Samar gets through the legs. Absolutely hoofs it here. Ferdinand. Big icon for... What is this? Rio, you're taking the piss. Rio Ferdinand. You're taking the mickey. But he's in. He's in on goal after that. He might even be offside when he's kicked the ball, you know. He's offside again, but it doesn't matter because Rio Ferdinand, speechless, speechless. And of course, he turns, pass comes in through the legs in the top, top corner. So that is where I'm going to end this one, guys. In all honesty, I cannot be asked to play another game of FIFA tonight. So we're going to we're going to call it there. Two losses with the man. A little bit of cheese in the, the second one. Decent performance overall, though, from this chap, uh, in all honesty. Very, very solid centre-back. The only issue is, obviously, the links. You're going to struggle playing for Coventry. There's no real strong links you can get there unless you're rocking a full championship Coventry side. But overall, very, very decent player. Played solid enough alongside Rio Ferdinand. He's got the pace, the power, decent strength. Decent defending stats, but of course, the only issue is the link. But I still would say 100% get yourself this man out of the three options, even for an objective team somewhere down the line. Or as I said, if you do like playing with the lower league teams, this man is definitely a solid shelf for you. Anyway, guys, I've been Morsi. I hope you enjoyed as always, because I certainly didn't. But until next time, I'll catch you later.